Hey everyone, Doubly here, back for part 13 of our uh, runs of Hades through every aspect. Um, this will be a 12th run, I have returned. and we'll be doing the aspect of Beowulf, the final and the hidden aspect of the shield. So just as a refresher, ready. this is the normal shield attack, this is the normal dash attack, Normal bull rush and normal special. Oh, uh, this is going to be important for Beowulf, actually. <laughs> There's the cast. I'm hit. Right? This is all normal. Beowulf. Beowulf. So you slam the shield instead of, like, using it. Um,. I don't know how to say it. swinging the shield into the enemy. You slam the shield and it creates like an AoE in front of you. Special is a little slower. But. And the dash strike is pretty much the same. However. When you cast. Where'd it go? Well. It gets charged into the shield. And when you bull rush comes like this much bigger and your cast if you saw that there becomes a little explosion around you at the end of the bull rush well it's called the dragon rush now but <laughs> anyway um so this is basically a cast oriented aspect right which means you can run a bunch of different you know uh, builds with it. Um, I guess something else I should probably mention is the fact that because the cast becomes different, uh, it's not the normal cast, right? So electric shock, or electric shot rather, um, sends out a projectile that bounces between foes. Um, but instead, it becomes, on Beowulf at least, a little explosion around you. And that's pretty much the same for every um every every uh cast except for i guess <laughs> aries because aries has to be different um but yeah so pretty much any cast is going to be powerful on beowulf particularly um i would say poseidon is really strong because uh, it does, I think it does a bigger AoE. I might be wrong, but the AoE is big. Um, it pushes enemies back. Uh, if you get like Breaking Wave or Wave Pounding or um, Typhoon's Fury, I think, uh, you're going to do a lot of damage because you're slamming people into walls and stuff. So that's really good. Also, he is one of the requirements to get Mirage Shot, which has a really interesting interaction with Beowulf. Um, Afro is always good because Afro does big damage. And Artemis also does big damage because of crits. But uh, we'll actually be doing Dionysus for once. Um, it's also why I have Stygian Soul. And... Um, I'm running Dark Foresight and God's Legacy. So, I mean, God's Legacy, it's not really, like I said in the, the, the mirrors video, I don't think God's Legacy really changes much. Um, but you know, just in case and Dark Foresight, um, obviously getting a rare boon is better than getting a normal boon in terms of like rarity scales but uh i do want to see poseidon and artemis many times just because i want to get mirage shot so seeing them more often hopefully more often would be nice would be good um so yeah that's what we'll be doing also i guess um so if you load the cast into Beowulf, it'll charge pretty pretty slow, right? But 
you can also do it at the end of the rush. So, like that. Right? Um, so, yeah. If you do it before the rush ends, it'll go off. Um, and, you know, I feel like we can do EM4 with this. EM4 is pretty different from the normal Hades fight. Your place is here and nowhere else. The same as it is mine. There's not of any worth to see beyond this realm besides. And I'll try to cover it I'll be the judge during of the fight. Um, but this shield's about to get a whole lot stronger. Okay. Sudden rush, I suppose. I'll try to cover what the changes are in the fight, but um If it gets too hectic, then I'm probably going to talk about some of the stuff that happens in EM4 after the fight. Okay, let's hope for a cast here. Extra cast, extra cast. Come on. Let's see what else. Entirely expected. Um, I'll take this. <laughs> I can handle this. Let's get our roll back. Extra cast would have been really nice, but... Chaos holding out on us. Also surprising we haven't seen Dionysus yet, actually. Um... I guess another really nice boon to get would be Hermes' Legendary, which I'll talk about if we see it. If we don't, I mean, I'll still talk about it uh, when we get to Hermes. Uh, hopefully we get auto reload from him, which is not his Legendary, but a requirement for his Legendary if you have Sigean Soul equipped. That's his requirement? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's his uh, legendary requirement. Uh, with Stygian Soul. Alright, there he is. Dionysus. Oh. Okay. Don't really like this benefits package. <laughs> um... If you see a little shade next to their armored health bar, that means they teleport. And you can probably imagine it's not great for slow weapons like Beowulf, but oh, yes. what can you do? Like Alright, epic. Nice. Cheers, mate. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what? Take Artemis. I don't care about the shop. It's a boon or a god that I need. And that is what I'll take. <laughs> Deadly strike. Good, good. Take some more gold. Uh, this benefits package also not that great for Beowulf because it's a slow weapon, as you can imagine. I've noticed that most of the hidden aspects are actually really, really slow. Um, not in terms of like clear speeds or anything, but just in terms of their attacks. Another art? No. <laughs> Maybe if that was Poseidon. Ooh, nice fountain chamber. Good enough to eat. Okay, so. The reason why I wanted to get Dionysus, uh, specifically his cast, is because it has an interesting interaction, aka a bug, on Beowulf. Um, when you uh, increase the rare, increase the level of 
casts or anything, it goes from the gray to the green, right? So in terms for Deadly Strike, it'll be a, an 8% increase in damage. Well, for Trippy Flare here, it's a 60 point increase in damage, right? Goes from 140 to 200. But if I remember correctly, on Beowulf, this increase is actually doubled. Um, so instead of doing one, going from 140 to 200, it'll go from 140 to 260. <laughs> uh, if I'm remembering this correctly, and this is, I think this is this is specific to Dionysus, and this is why I wanted to get Dionysus. <clears throat> because it's kind of ridiculous. Um, there's another really interesting interaction. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep calling it that. Uh, I'm not sure if I talked about it at the start, but Mirage Shot is also really interesting with Beowulf. It's no use. Um, oh. No Braid of Atlas or Prometheus Stone. Um, so the interesting thing about Mirage Shot on Beowulf is... Uh, I think I got the numbers wrong on a previous run. I think I said that Mirage Shot does... Uh, it sends out a second cast at 50% damage. But it's actually 30%. Ow. Ow. However... On Beowulf... The second cast actually does a hundred percent. I want this chaos. <laughs> I, can take it. I saw Poseidon. I went for chaos. I want another cast. These are all not another cast. Come on. What else? Good yeah, lord. <laughs> um, let's take this. Uh, maybe maybe the palm was better there. I can use this. What about these? All right. So I was rolling for all auto, auto reload. Um, uh, I will not. Like I said, it's a requirement for Hermes Legendary, but it's also really good just because. Uh, the fact that we have Stygian Soul, our cast comes back faster. So... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Did she die to a trap? <laughs> Hope she's not mad. At least she might have died to a trap. <laughs> well, father. Anyway, um, keepsakes hold power. Poseidon. All set. We want some Poseidon in our lives. So yeah, now we're looking for Mirage Shot, and hopefully we get it. Hopefully we get more Chaos, so that we can get extra cast in. Hopefully we get the Hermes Legendary. Oh right, I can't special. I forgot. 
mean, I can. It's just going to do damage to me. All right, give me, give, give me the, oh, uh, okay. How about a different Roll once for it. Then. Okay. Um. Side hustle, I mean. Over an extra dash. Guess we'll take it. I don't know. <laughs> Right here, we're going to go for Refreshing Nectar because we want some increased rarity. All right, Poseidon. Um, either the special or the dash would be really good. If you guys saw, but Trippy Flare was doing like 300 something damage as opposed to the 242 that's being shown here, and that's because of the palms. Let's make some waves. The interesting interaction that it has with Beowulf, <laughs> Zeus. Um, okay, let's take the shop here actually. Moving on. Don't want any of these. I don't want Aries either. What the? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well. Taking Zeus was the right call here. <laughs> uh, yeah, Battle Rage? Taking the health would have been nice, but if I see Poseidon or Artemis in the shop. Thank you, mate. Okay, we roll once here for Mirage Shot. <laughs> the power of the gods. Okay. Feeling better about this. Why must we always fight like this, Lerny? Obviously, if we had another cast, I would feel even better, but... Chaos was not as nice to us as Poseidon was, so... Jeez. Uh, yeah, that did like a thousand damage. <laughs> Mirage Shot plus Trippy Flare with 
the um, extra palms is so strong. Oh boy. No more heads. Yeah, I really needed more health, don't I? <laughs> Do more damage with the cast, why not? Ooh, um, let's get the hammer out of the way. Oh, yeah, 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 I don't like this one. another benefits package I don't appreciate just like I don't appreciate the flaming chariots I think that's is that all of them okay Oof. this shield's about to get a whole lot stronger um mm, I guess minotaur rush so minotaur rush is interesting I think I might have talked about this but it turns your Bull rush into a power rush, which means if you release it at the right time, it'll do more damage. And you see those little speed lines. Okay. Um, would have been nice to get charge shot, but what can you do, eh? Okay, I mean, two centaur heart chambers in a row sounds good to me. <laughs> no, I thought I wasn't, I didn't have enough life, so. And chaos, also really good. gonna take this without looking at the chamber rewards for the next one because I want the cast. I want the extra cast. <laughs> okay. Extra damage from traps? I'll deal with it. Um... Let's take Artemis for pure pressure. Oh, I did that way too early. Shoot. Ton of damage that I missed out on actually. Uh, come on. Pressure points. That's the one I was looking for. Not peer pressure. <laughs> uh, actually, let's get some more health. Like, uh, getting to palm the cast is obviously really nice, but 
Not dying is also very nice. Some would say. More coming then. Uh, okay. Ow. Patty? No? Okay. Well. Did Daedalus himself build all of this? Okay, found chamber is good. I would have liked to see um or maybe I, I mean to say I might have preferred the gold reward over this, but um Poseidon or Take Poseidon over the palm. Maybe we'll get Razor Strolls or something. Also, how many rooms do I have left before I get my extra cast? One? This is the final room? Okay. Still do extra damage on the cast as well, which is nice because of Heron's Hourglass. Uh, do I need to save my rolls for anything anymore? I don't think so. Let's see what else. I mean, take Green Boon because you see it. Right? <laughs> That's how this works. Uh. So exclusive access is actually really, really nice as long as you get it early. Um, I'll take Razor Shoals. Because it turns every boon you get into epic rarity, so. Okay. Damage. Big, big damage. Who's champion now? Hope you enjoyed the show, my good shade. I wonder if I should try to roll with the anvil. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh boy. Do I risk it or the biscuit? Should be handy. Um, do I keep the bow and hourglass? Or do I go for the tooth? Uh, I'll just go for the tooth. I'm almost out of here. Oh, actually, I didn't realize it stays that. Okay. Nifty. So I still get the cast stone for 14 chambers. Okay. I didn't realize that. That's really cool. Oh, God. Please. Please, rat. Please, no. <laughs> um, hopefully, we get a two sack here. 
Uh, thought I drank from that, but I guess I didn't. Them. Nice. I'll take it. Yeah, hopefully we get a two sack. Always a pleasure, Caron. Uh, trippy flare. Let's go. More damage. More and more. More and more damage. More damage. Maybe this way. <laughs> That's what we want. That's what we need. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it's a two-sack. That's what I'm praying for. No way. Alright, you can't bull rush over this. Ow! Two-sack? Nice. This time. Strength. Okay, so we're doing EM4. Um, Time to deliver the goods. Uh, not enough for the anvil. Okay. EM4. So EM4, like other extreme measures, changes up the boss fight. Thanks, boy. This time it'll change up Hades' boss fight, though. Um, he does quite a bit of different stuff this time around. So in the first phase... The difference is, instead of summoning to get you back for last time, you know. regular enemies, uh, what he'll do I is he'll summon to. the mid-bosses. And... Darkness. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, that completely missed. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Darkness. Um, yeah, so instead of summoning regular enemies, you'll be doing mid bosses instead. And what else does he do different? Um, his laser beam attack in second phase is different as well. He can't hug him anymore. Um, he'll send out like a pulse. So hot. Okay. Ah, sneak, sneak, please. What is happening? <laughs> Why did I keep going down there? That was weird. You asked for this. So yeah, if his laser beam is in this fight. You, in this in this phase, you can't um, you can't hug him. Oh my goodness. So if you see the pulse around him, that actually pushes you out. So you can't really hug him there. So no more hugging dad. Very sad for, you know. Very sad because I like Hades, you know. I want to give him a hug. I, I think he deserves it. What is going on? Okay, my controller is being really weird. Um, 
He also summons Cerberus. That is his companion keepsake summon. Usually if you stay in the bottom right corner, you'll be complete, you, you'll be safe. You just have to dodge like once or twice. Oh gosh. And he also has a phase three. We are not finished. Where you at, bro? I'm like so scared because my controller is acting up. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen anymore. That was really close, I could've died. Okay, yeah, like see there? Um, Zach just kind of moved on his own, I don't know why. Okay, well, you know, we did it, even with the controller foibles. That was, yeah, um, I'm gonna have to look into this because, yeah, Zach just kind of moved on his own. Um, well, regardless, <laughs> that is the aspect of Beowulf with the powerful trippy flare. Um, I would say, Mirage Shot did a ton of heavy lifting. Put that on there. And... Um... I can't think of any other boon that was like super helpful. I guess auto reload actually. Yeah, that makes sense. Auto reload. Um, yeah, so that's Mirage Shot. Or... Mirage Shot, that's the aspect of Beowulf. A uh, really, really powerful aspect. And similar to a bunch of the hidden aspects, actually, um, it's pretty slow. But once you understand like how to play with it, um, I, I would say it's probably one of the strongest hidden aspects. Um, the hidden aspect for the bow is actually really strong as well. Um, but yeah, something I've noticed is a bunch of the hidden aspects are pretty much, they're, they're slower than the other aspects in their weapon type. And they really make you think about, uh, they really change up how you play the weapon. But yeah, this is the... Beowulf run. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, up next, we'll be doing all the aspects of the bow. And the bow is probably one of my favorite weapons in Hades. All I think all of the aspects are really, really fun to play with. And they're all pretty different from each other. Similar to how all the shields are pretty different from each other. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And see you all in the next one. Bye.